Damn, son, where'd you find this? There has been a huge reason I did not upload yesterday, and it was because I was finishing up these damn gauntlet solos. As you guys saw, I finished the rushing, passing, and defensive gauntlet solos. And here are all the rewards you can reap in the packs. Coins you can earn upwards up to 100,000 freaking coins. I'm going to show you guys the solos just to give you an idea of how, what, what to expect, how difficult they are. I'm going to tell you right now. Defense, the biggest pain in the ass. The second solo actually can give you trouble. What? Now I'm recording this at about 5 in the morning on Monday. Today on Monday. So I'm going to actually save the Pro, All Pro, and Legend packs for when Team of the Week drops later in the day. But for right now, I'm going to be opening up the Elite Player Packs. And let's see if we can get some guaranteed Elite. See if they're actionable, tradable. We can add them to sets. And maybe possibly pull an Antonio Brown. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I said, let's hop into these Elite Player Packs. And Elite Player Pack number one, can we please get something good? I'm hoping for some a miracle or something beautiful. We get Fletcher Cox. Yeah, I already have him. <laughs> I already have Fletcher Cox, but he's auction mode tradable, so that's pretty cool. We can have the Elite Exchange, so definitely I can easily sell this card right here. See, let me wait a minute on this one. Now, now here's the thing, though. You can add this, actually, to... It says Gauntlet and October Gauntlet. So when next month's Gauntlet comes out, I'd assume you can add these collectibles into that set immediately and get that player off the bat. But either way, the next Elite Player Pack, let's see if we get something good. That was Fletcher Cox right there. And this one, we're going to get Cameron Hayward. Okay, 85 overall left end Cameron Hayward. Not too bad. And I think my current left end is Devin Taylor, the team hero. So Cameron Hayward's a lot better. Devin Taylor, I can't really add to a set. So if anything, Cameron Hayward might sell. Devin Taylor might keep. Don't know. It just depends. And Cameron Hayward does have 3-4 chemistry. Last elite player pack. I'm hoping for someone good. Let's get a high overall. Again, these are auctionable tradable. Can we get Antonio Brown? Okay, that's the collectible. Here it is. Who are we going to get? And we get Ryan freaking Khalil. I'll take that. Comparing Ryan Khalil to this team hero, Nick Mangold, Ryan Khalil, of course, is the better run-blocking centers, run-blocking offensive linemen in the game, and his pass-blocking is only down by two compared to Nick Mangold, so, well, quite honestly, there's the dilemma right here. Can I keep Ryan Khalil and just sell Nick Mangold, or just bench Nick Mangold? I'm not sure, so I'm definitely gonna have to take a look into that. I said, guys, I'm gonna save these pro packs, the all-pro packs, and the legend packs for a separate video later on today, once the Team of the Week releases. I'll be going over that and opening packs. See if we can get some of the Team of the Week players, pull some limited time of, you know, the Team of the Week items, and maybe knowing EA, because they probably haven't taken out Bob Sanders at this point, get ourselves a limited time player like him. Oh, real quick, before we check out Julius Peppers, I want to show you guys the Man of the Month sets, the new players that are go out. I'm just going to just show it off real quick in the video. I'm not really going to go in depth. But they did add it and make it to where you need five more gold players. So it's basically 30 players in total. 10 bronze, 10 silvers, 10 gold. k so if anything i'm just gonna save up i'm just gonna wait till later on today buy julius peppers when his price drops just buy a little bit save these collectibles for next month's man of the month and or not man of the month but gauntlet player and we'll go on from there but julius peppers jazz yeah, got 79 speed 85 strength 84 acceleration 85 tackling 91 play rank 83 block shot, 88 pursuit 90 hit power his catching, I always want to know what Julius Peppers catching it. 75, holy crap, I'm using this Julius Peppers. So man of the month, Julio Jones, 93 overall. I despise this man, but damn it, you cannot deny the fact that he's a great player. He just tore my Panthers to shreds this past week. I mean, he was burning every corner that we had. Benet Ben Wickery, everybody got burnt. I don't know what the hell happened out there. This man had single-handedly put up 300 yards on the Carolina Panthers defense. No receiver, as far as I remember, no receiver has ever put up 300 yards in a game before. Either way, Julio Jones with 90 speed, 92 catching, 84 elusiveness, 92 spectacular catch, 91 release, 89 route running, 91 catch of traffic, 93 jumping. This Julio Jones probably one of the best 
he is the best receiver card in Mutt right now. EA may be dropping an upgrade set for this Julio Jones soon that can may boost him up to a 95-96 overall after completely just shitting on the Carolina Panthers this past... I, just saying that, just, oh my god, saying that hurts. But yeah, guys, 60 games, 20 each in these gauntlet solos. I cannot stress the fact that these were the most difficult, like, some of the, uh, well, okay, I shouldn't say that. The defense was, like, one of the most difficult things I've ever done, with my team at least. The passing and rushing, not really that hard, not that difficult at all. But defensive gauntlet, let me show you what you're going to have to go through. Zero points, 15 or fewer. Just some of these are, okay, this one was kind of annoying due to the fact that they would, oh, it just seemed like the offense knew what defense you're going to run the entire time. Two CPU incompletions in the first two plays. If you sack them or anything like that, it doesn't count. The easiest one, ironically, is the last solo challenge. It is perform a shutout, shut out the CPU, zero points allowed the entire time. Chew the clock. At most, the CPU may have two possessions. The one at the beginning of the game and then at halftime. That's probably the most they're ever going to have. So for the rushing, passing, and defense, you're going to earn around 30k coins. A little bit more than 30k coins. So which totals around just, it evens out to about 100k coins. And you're going to earn yourself two pro packs, two all pro packs, one legend pack, and one elite player pack at the end. Which just honestly, and you saw the packs I had, are freaking good. The elite player pack, you have potential to pull yourself an Antonio Brown, a Brady, Cards that go for upwards to 100k. Probably the most rewarding solo so far in the game, honestly. I do need to do the team challenges at one point. Not going to take care of them right now. Once I get the competitive badges and we're close to doing Mutt Master, then I'll knock these babies out. Finally get Mutt Master. Finally knock that out. By the way, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more content for the channel, go and hit that subscribe button. I'm Mark, and let me know in the comment section down below, how do you feel about the rewards for these gauntlet solos? How do you feel about the Man of the Month set? And especially, how do you? what are you guys going to do with those gauntlet collectibles? Are you going to add them to Julius Peppers' set, or are you just going to hold off till next month's gauntlet and just go get him first? That way you could sell them and then do the solos then. Either way, guys, take it easy, y'all, and have a safe one. Peace.